to the Pines, 113 from Bishopville to Berlin down to Snow Hill. Uneventful there. Looks like a decent going in uh, Wicomico County. Willard just to Pittsville to Parsonsburg. Bypass around town. Good. 50 good out to the Bay Bridge. Back to traffic for the Voice Radio Network. All right, here we go, guys. What's the worst way you found out that you were cheated on? Terrible. Mm. Andrew mm-hmm. says, I have been busy. I'm a medical major, okay. and we hadn't really been spending much time because I was busy with finals. It was the first time, you know, we'd hooked up in like three weeks, and she gave me an STD. I was so pissed off. I almost, oh, no. you know, just went crazy, did things that I would probably regret. And, you know, not only did she cheat on me, but didn't even have enough respect for my health to be protected, you know, when we hooked up. But by the grace of God, it was something curable. Mm. Tanya says, I found Viagra pills refilled two days prior, and we hadn't been intimate for uh, months. Oh. So he was using them, just not with her. Yeah. Uh, LaSasha says, my mother told me my ex-husband did something with my BFF. My ex-hub told my dad on accident after getting drunk. Goodness. Worst ways you found out you've been cheating on. Oh, my gosh. Regina says he had sex with, sex with my mom while I was in the hospital after giving birth to my child. He was scared to show up back at the hospital after he did. did didn't we have a similar? Wait a minute. Didn't we have a similar story like this? Or did we see it? Or somebody wrote in? It was something. Was this story sounds it. familiar. He had sex with my mom while I was in the hospital after yes. giving birth to my child. Yes. And he was scared to show up back at the hospital after he did. Yeah. And all he was supposed to do, all he was supposed to do is get the car seat and bring it to me. And I had to threaten to call the police. And he finally shows up with the car seat. I also was blowing both of their phones up. She finally answers the phone. She also wanted oh my, my birth control pills and was taking them when I get back home. Mm. When I got back home. Mm. Wow. So the mom just started taking the daughter's yeah. birth control pills on top of all that. That's uh, so messed up. Somebody texts in 519 and says walking in on them. Yeah. The worst way. Yep. Walk in. Um. Mm. Audrey says when all three men showed up at the same restaurant because my slow ass forgot I messaged them when my day off uh, was no, and where no I was going to be at. LOL. No way. I've got to do better. Uh, there's no way. <laughs> lies. Lies. There's no way. Worst way you found it, you've been cheated on. Serena says we got into an argument. He left for some quote air. I got to get some air. <laughs> he didn't come back all night and I was staying at his house at the time called around uh, called around the world looking for him in the morning thinking he was hurt in jail or even worse got a ride to his best friend's house her phone was broken thinking she'd know where I could find him walked in and he was there laid up with some young ass little chick not the best friend. Needless to say, everybody got their ass whooped. Went through the house like Hurricane Serena. But you said call the best. So the best friend was a female. I need air. I need air. I, need I have go- to go. I need to go get some air. <laughs> yeah, you get some air. I. Worst way to find out you've been cheated on. Um, Nita says when he had a change of plans and lied and said it was strictly a business trip. That's okay because he got to the airport. His twins was in the back seat in their car seat to sleep with everything they needed. I don't get mad. I make things complicated. Okay. Wow. Um, let's see. Uh, Fanny says on my computer where he signed into his Facebook and I called him talking to his ex about me. So I changed my status immediately to single. That's how he found out that I knew, and then we broke up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Taylor says, when he invited me to meet her at his house, and she was just renting a room in his apartment. whole time she was renting, you already know. They were hooking up? She was renting the D. I was young, so I was thinking anything, but his karma landed him in jail thanks to her. LOL. Ladies and gentlemen, learn to sit back and allow these people to destroy themselves without having to do anything extra. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm-mm-mm. I just found out this was somebody that I just met this Friday. 
like when we went out and she told us that she had all the info to log into her boyfriend's Facebook. So she would log into his Facebook every single day. Really? Yeah. Every day. Every day. It was like she knew. Now, what is she that like doing. a is that like a good relationship? No, she said she knew what she was doing was wrong. Right. And she was like telling herself, I need to stop doing this because he didn't do anything to her to make her do that. She just got access to it and just it became like somewhat of an addiction. She was in her head. Yep. Wow. And she said that um, she would go through his messages every day. It was like this weird thing that she knew that she had access to it. So she went on there every single day. And he had no idea. And Did she find something? Nothing. No. Oh, no. wow. It was just okay. one of those things that, you know, she had access to it. Maybe, you know, if she for some reason thought or felt something was off, she was like, oh, let me just check here. I have access to this. Let me see who he's talking to. Let me see the messages. Yeah. But what got her caught up is she was scrolling on Facebook and it was actually logged into his and they have mutual friends. Oh boy. And she went to comment. She did. She commented. <laughs> but it was him. But it was him. Yeah. Yeah. She said she tried to delete it, but he got, you know, the notification oh, and stuff. Oh boy. That's how it all came to light. 228 texting in. Um, again, worst ways to find out you've been cheated on. Share my location. Share my location. Yeah, that will get you caught up. Uh, oh, Tika Marie says, when my six-year-old told me how to get to the woman's house and my husband's car was there, no. but they wouldn't come outside. They, like, stayed inside. They were scared. Scared. She said the six-year-old. Yeah. <gasps> That's crazy. Wow. Um... Barbie says, 2010, I was cross-training in a nursery. He came to sign the birth certificate. I talked to him like I didn't know him. After he left, I broke down and explained to the other nurse why. Oh, I guess that's when you found out. Um, worst way to find out you've been cheated on. A newborn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Eleanor, his checkbook. Oh he wrote a checkout for child support. And you didn't even know he had another kid. Whoa. What? Desiree said, finding out he's cheating and everybody knew but you. Yeah, that's terrible. That's checked up. Mm. Nicola says, drove by a restaurant and saw them together. Stupidly uh, stuck out and stuck around to be sure it wasn't, you know, like platonic. And when they came out, they were all over each other. Oh, she so then proceeded to start to dance and strip outside the car. At that point. What? <laughs> At that point, I had enough. <laughs> Stop it. What? <laughs> uh, somebody said, his grandmother called me because she was upset I didn't tell her I was pregnant. I wasn't pregnant. All right. What? Wow. Man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Sharon said, first way to find out that you've been cheated on. Sharon says, I was pregnant in the hospital on bed rest, and someone sent me a picture of the girl driving my car around town. Wow. And she's pregnant in the hospital on bed yeah. rest, and she can't do anything about it. AJ says he left his Facebook open on our computer. Here we go. And she sent him a message that popped up when I sat down. <sighs> yep. Wow. Wow. Uh, Tamika says he worked wow. in the van with her. So she came to pick him up one day. We didn't answer the door. So she knocked on the door. I opened and she was fully pregnant. I said, Rashawn, the girl from your job's here. So we're standing there and she says, I finally get to meet somebody in his family. Are you the sister? No. Yep. I said, no, I am not his sister. We've been engaged, and we've been together for six years. Well, she almost fainted. She shouted, said she was pregnant with his child. We both flew to the bathroom and knocked that man off the toilet. Cursing, screaming, crying. I put all his stuff in a bag and sent him with her. that's it. Yep. Melissa says, his wife called. Another woman messaged me. Gut feeling with another so I asked her, uh, and I was right, message between him and another. That's to name a few. Mm. Your gut feeling will tell you what's up. 
Yeah. Wow. Mm. Three four four texted in. Glad I have a good one. I know that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I know that's right. Round of applause. Yeah, yeah. You hear these stories and you're like, you know what? Some of them were just unbelievable. If you want to go ahead, uh, you know, and continue the conversation, mm. both segments we went on uh, Facebook Live. You can comment underneath. Or uh, continue to text in 302-858-5117. Worst ways you found out you were cheated on. Wow. But you know what? Hearing them stories, it's like it could always, you know, if yeah. you, you go through things, I mean, it just, you never know what other people are yeah, going I know, through. You, th- I know. you think you are going through something. No. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a Bill and Jessica show. Throwback Thursday continues. Here's all the details on top.